For companies like packaging material provider Le Sui, research and development is crucial to their ability to come up with new products having a low environmental impact. Income tax reforms in recent years have helped it save a lot, which has improved its ability to hedge risks as well as encouraging it to spend more on R&D. We have spent over 25 million yuan on R&D in the last three years, and the government's tax policies allow us to claim additional deductions for our innovation expenditure, and that cut our tax base by more than 10 million yuan last year. We can use the money we saved on improving our equipment. It helps us with cost savings and improves our competitiveness. Yu says SMEs are also allowed to handle their tax filings for the first three quarters of a year in advance. That means they can get the tax returns for the first three quarters filed earlier in the year, which helps ease their financial burdens. New tax policies this year also allow SMEs to depreciate newly purchased equipment worth over 5 million yuan over a shorter period of time. That has helped SMEs like Shanghai Yulian Supply considerably. We have bought a piece of equipment worth 8 million yuan this year. The new measures allows us to depreciate the machine over a shorter period, which would also reduce our tax base, and then we will be able to invest more in R&D. The new tax incentives have also simplified the tax filing process. In the past, companies might have had to wait quite a while for regulators to check whether they are qualified for tax incentives. But now all the reviews are carried out after taxes are paid on the basis of taxpayers' own estimates. Taxpayers can estimate themselves whether they are qualified for the incentives and go ahead and file their taxes. We will check their information after that, which will save them a lot of time. In addition, the new tax policies also clarify the exact definition of micro, small and medium-sized companies. And a large number of companies in the city fit those definitions and so can take advantages of the incentives. And of course, the efforts to cut taxes also aim to support China's economy in general. Though several efforts were made in the past two years, there are still many potential problems stemming from the pandemic and from the international situation, and these challenges pose significant risks to SMEs. Micro, small and medium-sized companies play an important role in the economy. They are in different industries, contributing a lot to the country's employment. But they don't have strong abilities to hedge risks due to their size. And economic uncertainties such as rising commodity prices have increased their costs. So the government's launch of more tax and fee cuts for them is both to support their growth and to stabilize the economy. According to Ministry of Finance, China cut about 1.1 trillion yuan in taxes and fees last year to support businesses' stability and growth. And the number for this year will be even larger. The government also aims to further improve the payment services by moving most tax return processing online this year.